Hello, this is Matt from Baja Customs. This is the first video of what will hopefully hopefully be a whole series of videos relating to off-road design, CAD, and engineering. In this first video, I'll be going over how to create a laser cut file that you could send to any laser cutter or water jet shop to get your part laser cut. Let's assume you want to have this arm laser cut. First thing you need to make sure is that all, all the parts that you want laser cut are uh, sheet metal parts. Okay, if they're not sheet metal parts, you won't be able to flatten them. So first thing you want to do is create a drawing. Go up here, click make a drawing from assembly or part. Click on the sheet size. And depending on how you have your page, your sheet set up, it'll be like so. I'm just going to delete uh, these other parts here, these other views. Let's click on this one. What you want to do is go to Select Bodies. Click on the part that you want to bring in. Click OK. And then you want to click Flatten pat Flat Pattern. And this will flatten it out for you and give you all your uh, your bend lines. And then we need to make sure that it uses the same scale as the sheet. So click on here, use sheet scale. You just you want to do that just to make sure that all your your parts will use the same scale. Next, let's bring another part in. We'll bring it, just pull from over from the from the palette over here. Click on it. Again, click select bodies. And let's choose the bottom part now, the bottom sheet. It brings that in. Click flat pattern. And it might take a while, but it will flatten it out for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these these callouts for tap tolls because you don't really need those. All right, so we've got this. Let's just bring another one in just for just to show. Let's unlock the alignment. Alright, select bodies. Let's uh, let's choose this back part. Click OK. Flat pattern. Alright, make sure that uh they use a sheet scale. You got you gotta check that every time. In fact, I forgot to check this one. Let's go back. Use sheet scale. All right. You know this this arm is for the the driver's side. This is a driver's side arm. So, and I I didn't model the passenger side. Now there's a couple things you can do to create the the passenger side um, sheet metal parts. You could one go back to your model and mirror this entire arm and then uh, pull the sheet metal parts from that so what I like to do is make a copy of the part that I want to mirror so I'm just going to copy this part control C and then control V and uh, move this over here as you can see it's a copy of it but to make it to visually make it easier to see what that it's the opposite part or the op, the mirrored part, I'm gonna just click on it and click flip view. Now this will essentially make a uh, a mirrored view of it. But you have to change the bend notes because if you 
gave this to a laser cutter, they would these parts would be identical. They would, you know, if you flip this over, it'll be the same. It'll be the same part. So what you got to do is you got to change the bend nodes here. So you just click on it. Remove this first uh, text here. And make it say down. Capital. Go, go. Gonna say okay. And uh, there you go. So let's go ahead and change all these. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but let's just do it. So now once you're done, just make sure you've got all your bend notes the same as this side. These are all down, these are up, these are down, these are down, and this is up. So just match it with the other side. So when the laser cut guy sees this, he, he knows to bend it down when it's laid, when the part is laid this direction, and down when this part, part is laid this direction. So you get two essentially mirrored parts here. And this is helpful, you know, if you if you change a change a dimension on this um, this side, it'll also change over here too. You just just the hard part is is um, changing these bend notes. So I'm going to skip ahead and show you what this entire um, arm is going to look like when you have all the parts on the drawing. All right, so once you bring all your parts in, it'll look something like this. I mean, you could lay it out however you want, but this is, this is just how how I like to lay things out. Um, I usually, if I have more than one, multiple sheet metal parts with different thick, they require different thicknesses. All this, these all require uh, using one one eighth uh, one eighth steel. Now, if if you have something that uh, you know, it's a quarter thick. You know, I would I would create another box over here and then put that quarter inch part in there and then label it. You know, quarter inch. But since this is all one eighth, I just created one big box and uh, placed all the parts in it. And what uh, what I do if if there's multiple parts of the same, if you need to cut multiples of the same part, I will just put a times two or times you know whatever how many parts you need cut of the same exact part next to it. Uh, most laser companies um, will know you know what you mean by this. I would definitely suggest making yourself a personalized uh, drawing sheet for yourself. You want to make sure that you have your uh, your name and the description. Uh, for sure you need uh, to put the type of material you want the parts to be laser cut out of. Here I, I show uh, 4130 steel or pickled and oiled hot rolled steel. Um, you want to tell them to check the thicknesses and quantities. Uh, but then uh, so after you have all that down, you want to convert it to a DXF file. That's uh, a common file format that most uh, laser cutters would use. So go up to File, Save As, uh, DXF. Now what you want to do here is check your options. You want to make sure that you have one-to-one um, -one output enabled here. Alright, so if you don't put that then um, click Save then they might get confused by the fact that down here you have a different or you show a different scale like I show one you know six one to six ratio uh, in fact I would just suggest totally removing the scale because uh, just to make sure they're not confused by that so you go to edit sheet format click on the scale click delete and then uh, back to edit sheet and so once you save the DXF file, you want to go check that file. So uh, click on the DXF file. If you have eDrawings, it'll open up new eDrawings. And um, just make sure everything looks okay. 
And that is it. This is what you would send to your laser cutter. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.